Thank you, Larry. Morning. Morning. Larry, lovely day, isn't it? Not bad, is it? Panatella, yes, Arthur. Has my uh, investor's chronicle come in? Yes. Yeah, have you had any thoughts about what I mentioned last week? Uh, I don't know, Arthur. Look, I don't want to rush you, Larry. But I'm taking delivery today, and I promise you, he who hesitates on this little lot is going to be well choked. Thing is, I don't sell all that much rolling tobacco. Exactly. And what is your miserable profit margin on your miserable turnover? <sighs> not much. Not much, Larry. It's embarrassing. It's not visible to the naked eye. At my prices, you've got to be thinking about trebling that. Yeah, I suppose so. Look, Larry, you are a grafter. I appreciate that. But just this once, be nice to yourself. Earn a few quid with your feet now. All right, Arthur. I'm in. You made the right decision, Larry, on my babies. So that is 100 two-ounce plastic pouches of hand-rolling cigarette tobacco sealed in for freshness in your hands first thing tomorrow morning. Yes. Hey, Arthur, what about your investor's chronicle? First class. Read and prosper, my son. Read and prosper. Oh, Daddy, as usual, I see, Terence. Oh, it's murder. Where's that slippery little twerp army? He should be here. Oh, good day, Arnold. I thought you were sorting me a van. What do you think I've been doing on here? Blitting yoga? Oh, my God. Do you mean this is it? For 20 sovs a day? No, no, no. For the promise of 20 sovs. What? For the promise of 20 sovs a day, you do not get a turbocharged Arctic with air conditioning and a stereo, Arthur. What you do get is this little beauty. And if this don't get us there and get us back... Well, well, is, is there no chance of you telling us the exact nature of this little jaunt or what? We are popping down to the coast in the vicinity of a place called Butler's Art. Your Butler's what? Where a business acquaintance of mine, Commander Hawksley. Oh, uh, Air Force geezer, is he? Commander is a naval rank genius. Senior service, right? Well, among other things, the Commander has a string of confectionery shops and tobacconists. A sailor moonlighting with a couple of shops? A bit naughty, isn't it? It's bleeding disgraceful. He's retired, you ignorant nerks. Well, now he wants to close the shops down and he's offering me odds and ends of stock at... Uh, advantageous prices. What sort of odds and ends? Well, you know, the usual thing. Greetings cards, confectionery, smidgen of tobacco. Oh, dodgy snout, eh? Wrong as usual, Terence. This is absolutely kosher. Well, what's your edge, then? Well, the commander has been uh, very honest with me and uh, let me know that the tobacco's been on the shelf for a little while. Sort of a uh, well-matured Arthur. Yeah. Come to sawdust country. All right, that'll do, Terence. Come on, I need you to lock up. Now, listen, Yorkie man, I want you at the Winchester with Van at two on the dot. Quick run down the south coast, load up the gear, back in time for a drink up and distribution of wages. So this thing had better be a runner by two o'clock. Yeah, oh, yeah. Otherwise, you won't see a penny for that 20,000 mile service you've done on the Jag. There you go. The Jag didn't see much of a service anyway. <laughs> Inside. Pushed. Inside? That's right, Daly. It means we're on a bloody good nose around. Oh, I love that well, Slew. Never get tired of it, do you? You might soon, boy. I'll tell you what, Tap. Give us a song, eh? Let's slip, McCann. You're in the frame as well. Come on, Daly. Open up. According to my rights as a normal citizen, a search warrant Don't is the... Don't be silly, Arthur. You're not a normal citizen. But what are you doing? Yeah, a bit of all right, please. Oh, we've probably got one your size, eh? Oh, well, blue would be right for you, wouldn't now, it? Now, what about a nice Prince of Wales check, eh? Jones. Sorry, go. Nice fridge, Arthur. A personal purchase at the January sales. Early Christmas present for her indoors. The Ronald Reagan Keep Fit video. Get on the station and find out if these have been reported stolen. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes? There is nothing wrong there. British Telecom has been privateered, as you may recall. And as far as them videos are concerned, they were purchased from a reputable dealer. The receipt is currently with my accountant. Terry, Terry, tell Mr Chisholm about them videos. What videos? I don't know anything about videos. Terry, this is no time to wind me up. Oh, all right, all right. No, it's right, you won't get a result there. All right, Arthur, this is the situation. Last night, some tearaways broke into a warehouse on the Manor and had it weighed with 1,500 pairs of highly expensive imported sporting footwear. Unfortunately for us, the owner of said footwear was a close friend of the chief superintendent. And so we've had to forget the murderers, arsonists and rapists for a day or two to go looking for bloody plimsolls. Thank you. We've managed to recover some of them, Arthur, and in doing so, your name cropped up. Mine? So as of this moment, Arthur, I am on your back. 
And if I turn up so much as a bootlace, I'm not only going to pull you for receiving, I'm going to stick you up for conspiracy to commit a robbery. That is paramount to blackmail. No, Arthur. It's a threat. And you needn't look so bloody casual. You're included in this. Look, I'm sorry I'm not fainting with fear, but you really have got your wires crossed this time. Oh, go and see who that is. Oh, can I get you anything? I'll a cup of coffee, tea. Oh, I've got that train is out here. Yeah, come back later, will you? Believe it, how can not do that? Look, down the main road, first right, second left, ten minutes. What a bleed now for? The old bill for God's Find yourself on the main street. Kurt on the right and the pub on the left. Lost his way. All right, Daly. Expect to be seeing a great deal of me over the next few days. Shall return? Excellent. Good. First class. Glad to be of assistance. Want a coffee or something? Uh, Terry, 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 do the padlock. Little job to do. You ought to dump the bleeding lot. Do what? I'm into these for 300 sobs. I've got a punter all lined up, his tongue hanging out. We can be round here in five minutes. You can, you mean. It's the last I'm having anything to do with this. Nothing, no sunshine. Anyway, there ain't room for me in the car, is there? Of course there is. You can squeeze in there, Terry. No. Turn off. Terry? Good luck. Oh, I see. Bottle gone, has it? Do what? Nothing, nothing. Chisholm was in here about an hour ago. Bloody cheeky, you snooped around the cellar during opening time. He say what he was after? No. He kept staring at everybody's feet. I oh. think he's getting a bit peculiar. Huh. Yeah, this is uh, not out of Arthur, is it? Well, let's put it this way. Contact with Arthur should be kept down to the minimum until further notice, all right? Yeah. Where is the old stoke? He said two on the top. On the other hand, of course, Chisholm could already have felt his collar. Oh, nice one. All that graft on the vamp of sweet F.A. Oh, really, Arnold? What sort of reaction is that, eh? It's the proper one if you're brassic. OK, lad, excitement's over. Here comes the brain. Large V Slim tea, please, Dave. Go on. Still at liberty, are you? Dave, uh, any chance you've got a bit of space down in your cellar? Why does everybody want to get down in my cellar? No chance, Arthur. Forget. You've been spreading malicious gossip. Ah, oh, people have just been drawing their own conclusions, haven't they? All right, all right, that'll do. Now, look, due to unforeseen circumstances and with grave misgivings, I'm unable to accompany you on this trip this afternoon. Oh, oh no. It's a good day out, and all. I mean, we've got to go just all by ourselves. Oh, all right, all right, all right that'll do. Now, listen. <laughs> listen, you two clowns have better get this one right. That is Commander Orcs' business premises address, and I've marked the route out in here. Now, when you get down there, deal only with the Commander. And for God's sake, try and behave, because the man's a scholar and a gentleman. I'm not familiar with scoundrels. He's met you, ain't he? Terry, look. All this contains two and a half grand. Two and a half grand? Terry, I'm entrusting it to you, which means I don't want Arnie to get his greasy little hands on it. Well, that's charming, isn't it? And as this is strictly legit, I want you both to sign this receipt. Do what? Be a poor Mark will do in your case, Arnie. I can bleed and write. There you go, come on. I don't believe this. Yeah, tell him. He's always been in a I'll tell you something else, Sunbeam. Mate of mm -hmm. mine from the scrubs, he's got a boozer just there. I'll tell you something yeah. else, too. You're going straight down there and coming straight back, stopping only for a jimmy. Now, go on, off you go. You take a map, all right? Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure, yeah. 
I'll have the money. <laughs> Terry, I hope you appreciate the responsibility I'm entrusting you with. I do, I do, good boy. Good boy. I mean, you've given me my big chance, haven't you? Oh, I think you're out of your mind, Arthur. Well, what does that mean? Well, you've just handed over two and a half thousand pounds to Frank Sinatra and Adolf Hitler. your own business. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I have just made a perfectly understandable mistake. That's mine down there. <laughs> so sorry. It's Jack. Watch you, Arthur. Hello, Harry, my old mate. Oh, you're looking fit, my old son. Very fit indeed. <laughs> I'll try telling me, Doc, that. Well, what can I do for you, Arthur? Footwear of the younger generation, Harry. Trainers. Yeah. They come a bit pricey, though, and I just don't have the turnover. Oh, well, now is your chance to change all that, Harry. Have a look at them. A nice gear, Arthur. Yeah. Still, I can't see me knocking out many football boots around here, though. No, no trainers, Harry, trainers. Got flaming great studs, see? So's the other one. Well, it would, wouldn't it? I'm oh, sorry, Mr. Daly, couldn't make it himself. Yeah, he's well sick about it, well sick. Yeah. You were, Mr. Daly sends his apologies, you know, about the pressure of work and all that. Oh, yes, yes, quite. Oh, Angela, would you bring in the boat for Mr. Daly's order? Right. I think the tide's about to turn. Is it? Yeah. Either of you two ever messed about in boats? Uh, yeah. I went one of those peddling things once when I was on holiday in Mar Margate. Peddling things? No, he means one of those pedlos, you know, that you mess about in a surf when he's a case, isn't it? Oh, yes. I know. Ah, yeah, Angela. Now, if one of you would like to sign at the bottom there. Yeah, all right, yeah. And then if you take your van down to my stores. Okay, now. Come along. Yeah. Oh, that's, um, £2,500. Whoops. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Oh. You go on. I'll catch you up. OK. Hello. Hello. Sure. I can't apologise enough, gentlemen. I'm afraid it may not arrive until later this evening. Do what? If you'd like to wait in my office, I'll convey any news as soon as he comes in. Is he trying to strike us up or what? I don't know. You'd better hang about, though, eh? What do you think about this thing? Well, I don't know. Arthur reckons he's 100% straight. Leave off. Nobody's that straight, though. News of some sort, gentlemen. <laughs> the van has been towed to a garage. And there's every chance we may be shipshaped by this evening. Ah. Listen, mate, uh, no offence, but don't you reckon you ought to uh, bang us back Arthur's bit of poke? He means return Mr Daly's money until we get his gear. I would, but Angela's already gone to the bank and popped it in the night safe. Well, listen, gentlemen, let me try and compensate for the inconvenience. A friend of mine has just taken delivery of a new boat. He's very kindly given me the use of it while he's out of the country. Why don't you come on board and have a drink? Yeah, all right, yeah. Look, this chicken in the drink. 
Hold his head under until he comes to his senses. If we steam in and he's on the level, we're going to look right, Wallace, aren't we? Now, give him a bit more time. Then chuck him in the drink. Got to figure out what to tell Arthur. He's expecting us home in an hour. Get on the salt. Oh, Penny, I brought some friends along for a drink. Come on, chaps. All right. This is uh, Terry. Hello. Hello. And uh, um, Arnold. Arnold. Welcome aboard. Uh, take him down, will you, Penny? Hold on, Arnie. I knew it. Those two have done me up like a kipper. That's what you get for treating kids like adults. Law of the jungle, bite the hand that feeds you and all that. I'll take it easy, Arthur. They're only half an hour late. They probably got held up in the traffic. I blame myself. I blame myself. Not as much as I blame them, but I blame myself. <coughs> Terry? Where the bloody hell are you? What? What boat? Well, the sun is well over the yardstick, isn't it? Yard arm, Terry. Y the yard arm? So we've uh, spliced the main brace, know what I mean? <laughs> Terry. Terry, are you drinking my money away in some dreadful boozer? If so, please, I beg of you, stop now. No, 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 no. Look, Commander Hawksley's so got your dough, but one of his vans is out of action, so we've got to wait for the gear. Oh, you don't mean you've parted with two and a half grand and got nothing to show? That's all right, innit? You said everything's strictly kosher, be on your best behaviour, all that sort of cobblers. Terry, I want you to tell me exactly what is occurring down there. There's nothing occurring. Hold on, just hang on, will you? Can you have a word with him? Cheers. Arthur, Teddy Hawksley here. What? What are you doing? Uh, Penn's telling me about sigling with flags and that till. <laughs> Since when did you need flags, eh? <laughs> no, I mean, straight on. This is really clever, this is. For instance, this brooch I'm wearing. That's a well-known signal. Yeah? Well, t tell us about it, Penn. It means permission to lay alongside. Oh. Yes, it's called the Double Eagle. It's moored just below my office, Arthur. But there's no need for you to come down. Oh, I think there is. In fact, I insist. Yes, I... I, I insist, my dear. Yes, I'll, I'll drop everything immediately and come, my dear. Yes, bye-bye, beloved. Trouble at all, Arthur? Oh, nothing that requires the Metropolitan Police. Thank you. You straightened Arthur out, did you? Well, I don't know. He said he was going to come down, and then he went rather peculiar. Yeah, well, the old boy gets a bit confused now and again. Oh. Oughtn't you to slip your oil skins on? It's going to get a bit chilly later on. No, I'm fine, Commander Hawksley. Honestly. You sure? So what's happening, Colonel? Well, I'm going to go back to the office for an hour or so. The wind's back, thank goodness, and the shipping forecast is reasonable. So we should be on for this evening. What's the shipping forecast got to do with it? What? Oh, absolutely nothing. Sorry. Must be rather boring for you landlubbers, but the weather rather rules our lives. Isn't that so, Penny? Oh, absolutely. Mm. I'll leave you in Penny's capable hands. If you're feeling peckish, well, there's lots of food on board. Yeah, but there's no hurry. None at all, eh, Pin? There you go, gents. Yeah, another large one, please, Dave. I thought you had to rush home, Arthur. Oh, that is what is known as a delayed response, Mr Chisholm. Part of the tactics of marriage. So how do you meet Commander Hawksley, then? I answered an ad. Female crew wanted occasional cross-channel trips. Oilskins provided. So far, he's been as good as gold. So you mean you're not exactly sort Quite of game with him, are you? No. I've only known him for about a week. But he seems very nice. It yeah, seems lovely. Listen, uh, how about going out and having a nice drink? Must be a decent booze around here somewhere, Pen. Yes, one or two, but um, I thought I'd stay on board and have a quiet evening. Yeah, I don't feel like going out myself much, really. No, 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 no. I'm a bit cattled myself. It was a long drive down here. On the other hand, perhaps it might be nice to go ashore. There's a lovely little pub overlooking the old harbour. Well, that sounds good to me, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll it tell. I mean, you, you didn't want to go a minute ago. Well, I changed your mind, didn't I? You stay in and have a nice rest. No, but it was me who wanted to go out in the first place, wasn't it? Yeah, but you changed your mind too, haven't you? Anyway, the washing up's got to be done first, so perhaps one of you might give me a hand. Yeah, yeah. all right. Oh, that's very kind of you both. I'll leave you to it while I check the moorings. Well, come on, in. Stick. 
Bar twist. Oh, dear, Akeem, I suppose you're bust. Yes, I'm well bust, I'm afraid. Thank you. Pay 20s. Pay me. Oh, well done, Arnie. 10p to oh, you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's 22, you pillock. No, it's not. Oh, count it, Einstein. I can count. Ah! Oh, what's that? Oh. Who on earth are you? So, have a look. It's Captain Bertram. Oh, don't worry, it's only half. Don't only half of me. Give us a hand. Come on, you. Penny, half a, half a penny. Oh, nice to meet you, my dear. Are you all right? Yeah. I'm afraid boats can be difficult for the older person. <laughs> you and you, with me, back to the car, get some more of these boxes. Hold on, hold on. What do we want them on here for? I've got a little job for you. Taking the studs off my trainers. What's you on about, Tell? Look, yours not the reason why, Birdbrain. Just do it. Here, I'll come on. Come on. That's nice, isn't it? Just look after that for a minute. Won't be long. In the name of God, Antoine, why can't you get a boat that works? Dans le nom de Dieu, Antoine, achetez-vous un bateau qui marche? Oh, never mind. Yes, we... Yes, I'll be there. Bon bloody chance to you, Antoine. You have no idea the trouble I had getting down here. I mean, talk about cloak and dagger. This man Chisholm sounds awful. Couldn't you complain to the police about him? No, he can't. All right, Arnie, that'll do. <laughs> You've been on that boot for half an hour. Tell you what, son, you're really blown out here, you know. I mean, just because you take the studs off, don't make them trainers, does it? Trainers are not for training, eh? They're for bone-idle so-and-sos to loaf about on street corners in. And don't you lose them studs, Arnie. Oh, just in case we run across a football squad of 50 who all wear size 10. Ah, daily, my dear chap. Oh, Teddy. Good Lord. Oh, um, just uh, adapting some footwear. I hope you don't mind me imposing. Oh, no, no, please, feel free. It's the least I can do. Particularly in view of the fact that you're going to have to wait until tomorrow for your stuff. The van's been locked up in the garage, you know. Most annoying. Oh, no, 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 no worry, Teddy. Patience is all. I was wondering, uh, would you like to join me in the yacht club? For a drink and a bite to eat. Well, the Yacht Club, that's uh, very hospitable of you, Teddy. Uh, my own club in London does have uh, a reciprocal arrangement with other establishments. What a Winchester. But um, none uh, none around here, as I recall. Oh. <laughs> Splendid. Good. All right, Penny. Yes, thank you, Commander. Mm. Mind your head. Oh, thank you, Commander. Oh. No bunking off you lot. Mind how you go. You know what these sailors are. <laughs> Sodding boots. You haven't got a pair of pliers on here, have you? I don't know. I'll go and have a look at this toolbox aft. Do you want an end? No, thanks. Yeah. All right, eh? Uh, oh, yeah, not bad, not bad. Not bad? Are you sure? I reckon I'll have a result here tonight. I have an idea. Oh, I'll tell you what, I must go and have a jimmy. Uh, give us my jacket, will you? Q? Never had any trouble with nookie me. Well, you've either got it or you ain't. Yeah, nice boot season, I tell. You still playing on a Sunday? Yeah, I was playing with a red line up until Christmas, then the back four got banged up in the scrubs. Oh, we had to check it in. I'll tell you... Tell? Terry! Penny? Thanks. Thanks a lot, mate. Teddy, why aren't you allowed to purchase? No, 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 no. Ah, oh, evening, Teddy. Ah, Johnny, Arthur. This is Johnny Wynn Stanley, the Commodore of the club. Johnny, Arthur Daly. An honour and a privilege, Mr. Commodore. <laughs> Johnny has joined me in a number of my business uh, ventures. In fact, he'll be helping out tomorrow. Ah. Say no more, eh, Daly? Nods as good as a wink, what? <laughs> well, now, what about a top? Ah, oh, man, the pumps, yes. Pinkers, please, Teddy. Two pink jeans, Fred, and uh, Arthur? Oh, well, pink vodka, please, Teddy. One pink vodka. I must say, I'm rather glad you came down after all, Arthur. Your two colleagues seem to be under the impression that I'm out to little them. Oh, I must apologise, Teddy. I'm afraid that is the, the gutless night mentality. You see, I, I do feel it's my responsibility to give these unfortunate lads a chance. And, and generally, they, they do respond. But when they are absent from my guiding influence, they tend to redress. Well, cheerio. 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 Ah, uh, same again, please, Fred. No, 
definitely like it here. Yeah. <laughs> Hope your friend's all right. No, oh, he'd be all right. What? Sitting on someone's boat, unscrewing all those little studs, eh? Happy as a sandboy. This is the scheme of things tomorrow. Wynne Stanley here, good chap that he is. Cheers. Cheers. We'll have a reception committee waiting for us on this side. And then after the rendezvous... No, 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 no. Do not misunderstand me, Teddy Boy. I don't want to know the details. I cannot afford to be compromised. I must remain aloof. That was the agreement. Quite, quite. Oh, well, fair enough, Daly. Up to us to bring home the bacon and all that lot. <laughs> And you, you'll have to shake a leg if you want to make yourself scarce. It'll be a dawn start. Oh, have no fear, Teddy. Dawn rising is my byword. Oh, well, one for the road. Oh, that's very kind, Commodore. Oh, what well, I remember. Uh, would you care to clock this new non-slip deck shoe that I have here? That is not on the market yet, but the manufacturers have let me in ahead of the field. But this looks remarkably like a football boot without the... Well, um... well, well spotted. Well spotted. That is, in fact, an offshoot of football boot technology. And you see, these holes, that, that is how you get your suction. Oh, thank you. It was bang out of order, Tell. I know what you're talking about, mate. Creeping off like that, leaving me on my tod. I felt a right prune. Anyway, what's the matter with a girl? She need glasses or something. <laughs> well, that sounds like Long John Silver, doesn't it? Yep. I've come to say good night. Good night. Right. And to say, you must be up at Sparrow's Fart in the morning and off this ship. And I will give you an early morning call. Oh, he's had a few, hasn't he? Well spotted, Arnold. Phil. Good night, Phil. Your daily is not bored. Daily? Come on, you chaps. Shake a leg. And what's up? We're about to cast off. Are we? Well, we're going up the coast for an hour or so. I thought you might like to go ashore. I'd rather stay in the boat, wouldn't you, Arnie? Yeah. Well, if you're absolutely certain. Daily's not on board, you know. Oh, good. Well, I must say that's very sporting of you. I could use some extra hands later on.
take over the helm, will you, Penny? I'm going to look at the charts. The wind's getting up a bit. Wouldn't you be better off with your oil skins on? No, 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 I'm fine, really, Commander. Ah, the volunteers. Hello. Hope you slept well. Yes, yeah, smash it, don't you? Yes. Why don't you take the helm for a bit, Arnie? You mean drive? All right. Keep an eye on him. Make sure he stays in the channel. When we clear the estuary, we'll have a little breakfast, eh? Right, Bit brew this, I tell. <laughs> yeah, brew, brew. <laughs> What's that, Pink? The depth sounder. Shows how deep the water is under us. Look, if I switch this on. Oi, 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 keep your eyes on the road. Say Arthur was. He didn't say. He just said he didn't want to come along. Well, don't say I blame him. What? I think this is the business decision. Well, this part's all right. It's the return journey that gives me the butterflies. Well, I think we might up the revs a bit at this stage. Like it, like it. Go on, Captain. Went all funny, then. I better take over now, Terry. We go by compass from now on. All right. Hello. What was that? Well. <laughs> Have a look. Where'd you spring up from, eh? Oh my God, it's worse up here. I checked your cabin, Danny. I thought you'd gone ashore. I fell asleep in a closet. Just had bacon sandwiches and coffee, Arthur. Can I get you some? <laughs> Turn this thing round and take me back. I think I'm going to die. Uh, too late for that, Daly. The rendezvous is arranged. Anyway, there's a lot of money involved. Something it's yours, you know. What rendezvous? What money? Don't you know? I thought Arthur... Now, you don't want to bother yourself with this, Terry. Shut up! Don't you... touch me! Well, come on, Hawksley, out with it. My dear chap, I'm sorry if you thought I was stringing you along, but Arthur was supposed to put you in the picture last night. He said you didn't want to be involved. That's why I was rather surprised that you came along today. Involved in what, for God's sake? Well, we're on our way to meet another boat that has uh, rather a lot of tobacco on board. Bloody hell, Arthur! What's he on tobacco? Well, you see, exported English cigarette tobacco is worth under a pound for two ounces on the continent. Here, you pay three times as much for it. So, provided you can smuggle in a reasonable amount, well, the profits can be uh, very tempting. Smuggling? Is that what we're up to? Nice one. What sort of chaps here about this? Will you shut up? What, you've done this before? Oh, yes. Quite a bit. 
It was the pink vodkas, Terry. I wasn't myself. I'm gonna do you off, but you know that, don't you? Terry, you're looking at a man who will welcome instantaneous death. Nothing you can do or say now will hurt me. Well, listen, what do you think about all this? Well, it's rather good money. Very exciting. Right, I know. Better put your fiberglass inside of old Cortina's, isn't it? Have you snapped or something? Just because it's all yo-ho and splice of main brace don't mean you can't get nicked, does it? Terry, please, please don't give us one of your lectures. I don't think I could stomach it. I'll leave it out. Tell me this is double sweet, this is. And you was going to bang me 20 subs to the use of my vein? You old skelly wig. Don't leave me! Another 10 minutes and we heave too. Yeah, I don't think Arthur can wait 10 minutes. I'm in the middle of a boat load of bleeding loonies. <laughs> Albatross! <laughs> any luck, we make contact with Antoine. Then we transfer the tobacco. Then it's full ahead both back to a convenient little spot where Johnny will be waiting. With the help of his inflatable dinghy, we transfer the stuff onto dry land and then into a vehicle post haste. And back to the moorings for a quick drink. And as far as any nosy parkers are concerned, well, we haven't really been away long enough to get up to anything, have we? Sweet as a nut. We hope. That's him. All right. Down you go. Right? Go on, off you go now. Come on, Arnold. Are you, sure? <laughs> Are you supposed to say ahoy, matey, and all that? Hello, Teddy. Hello, Antoine. Everything OK? Bonjour, sailor. Don't worry with all that. Come on, let's get on with it. Oh, yes, Squire. Let's do that. Squire? I'll oh, go in. How much have you got here? On our boat. Oh, Denis. Bonne chance, sir. Merci, Antoine. Au revoir. Au revoir. Thanks awfully. Well, we're not exactly working for nothing, are we? Eh? Any extra mural contributions you make will be considered at the end of the day. What's that mean, Sel? It means he's feeling better. Oh, I saw him when he was sick. <laughs> Just a bit of passing indigestion. The Dailies have always been very good sailors. No, it's true, that is. It is, yeah. They're all full of no, wind. No, 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 no. Any danger of another medicinal, my dear? We're not feeling too clever either. Come on, Johnny, get your dinghy launched. Been tumbled. Who's that? It's the river fool. Customs and excise. 
What a fat man in a boat! We got the beating of them. Oh, yes, we can outrun them. It's just as well Johnny got the flare up. Otherwise, I'd never have got around in time. I'm an innocent party in all this, Terry. You are my witness. I had no idea of command. Shut up, anything. will you? Listen, how much duty free snout are we allowed then? Look, they're giving up. <laughs> So what now, then? I don't know. We could try slipping in up the coast, but everybody's going to be on the lookout for us. That's simple, isn't it? We dump it. I beg your pardon, Terry? They've probably been on to Hawksley for yonks this lot. We nearly got done bank to rights just then. Now, while all this is a nice jolly jake for you lot, I've got form, remember? And I don't intend going down again just because you've got too pissed to wake me up this morning. I must admit, the odds are against us now. I'm sorry, but that's it. Sauli Beach. A lot of things get washed up there. Wait, what have you got? It's my gear, isn't it? I didn't bring any gear. Terry, Terry, open the boot. Oh. There you go. How are your smuggling, mates, eh? Free but furious. Cause you ought to see them custom geezers turn that boat over. Made Chisholm look like Nurse Teresa. Poor Commander Hawksley. He'll probably be drummed out of the yacht club. Yeah, what about poor Arthur Daly? I mean, this has been a right unmitigated, this has. What are you talking about? The geezer even gave you a dough back. Oh, the man's a tough, if you ask me. But don't worry about that. Penny and I have been having a little chat, and we may get a result. Well, what's that supposed to mean? It's equal four-way split, or you'll never find out. Right. Terry, where, where do you get this behaviour from? I mean, you're turning into a very nasty little piece of work, you know? Hmm. All right, under duress. Come on, let's have it. Go on, Pen, tell him, tell him. Well, it's a terrific long shot, but I know this part of the coast quite well. And bearing the wind and tide in mind, I've some idea where some of those bags might turn up. Nice one, Pen. Good, isn't it? Might, I said. My dear, you nearly made an old man very happy. Come on. Yeah, you go in the van, eh? Come, Pen. Hey, come with me. No, you're all right. Well? Nothing yet. The tide's starting to turn. We might have to wait for the next one. Oh, I couldn't bear that, my dear. The only bit of water I ever want to see again is a full bar. Hold on. I can see something on the mud. Eh? Hey? Can't quite make it out. It's about half a mile away. Yeah, that is definitely two of them. Go on, off you go, off you go. No, hold on, hold on. Straight shares, right? Yeah, never mind all that, off you go. Now, if I'm going to slip out there, I want my wages up front. Right, on to So either we divvy up now, or you are the mudlark. Terry, this is most improper out here in front of this nice young lady. What do you reckon to those bags, eh? Grand apiece, at least. Sorry, I thought I heard someone speak. That's half a monkey, isn't it? Yeah, and don't forget they're duty free. Look, where am I going to find that kind of dough here and now? You're holding two and a half K. Oh, that kind of dough. Yes, that kind of dough. All right, 200 apiece. Yeah, all right, done. When you get back? No, now. No, I'll tell you what, Penny can hold it. You're very trusting, isn't you, Terry? I trust her. There you are, my dear. Hold that, would you please? Thanks, Arthur. No, no, I only said hold it. Good luck, Arthur. Yeah, well, no, go and bloody well earn it. Go on. Join Arthur Bailey's army, eh? See the world. Be freezing. Go on. Strides. Ah, no. Nah. Get all dressed up for the seaside, did you? Come on, Yeah. No, no, no. You get the other one. Come oh, on. Who what? Come on. Shut up, will you? Oh, dick. Swell stuck this one. You can't have to come and help us, mate. Come and help. Oh, no, this one's the same. It's worse, eh? Yeah, straight on the... Oh! I'm not dressed for this. Come on. Just 
Grab that, and I'll leave it out from the back, all right? Just ease. Full lift! Jerry! Ah! Oh dear. Jerry! <laughs> get me up! Oh, get up! Get me up! My hat! Ah. My hat! <laughs> hold on, hold on. I've got it. Got the hat. Help me. It's your hat. <laughs> Can we go home now? Do it, Arthur. Harry Dolls will kill you. Oh. <laughs> Terry! It's them sands! They burn my hat! <laughs> there you go, Larry. Cheers, Arthur. Very good of you. I aim to please, as always. True, very true. Tough. Yeah, do you smell something? Smell something? There's a terrible bomb coming from somewhere. Oh, oh no, no, there's a, a broken gas main just on the corner. I think they're, um, they're repairing it now. Arthur! Mud in our pen and ink. Apparently, her indoors made Arthur sleep in a car. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in that, eh? You move it. I didn't want to come away empty handed, did I? Yeah, yeah. Give Martha Lager with him. Sure. a special, please, Dave. Uh, special, yeah. Put it right in here. Mm. Take your coat off. Good look. Usual, please, Dave. Here you go. You better give it a couple of minutes to cool off, eh? I told you that microwave oven would come in handy, didn't I? Not exactly what I had in mind, half a dry out snow. Do you uh, find a nice safe place for them football boots? Oh, yeah, yeah, don't worry about that. Safe as ours is, Alpha. Hold up. Well, well, well. Wild bunches back in town. <laughs> Mr. Chisholm, what a pleasant surprise. Any uh, joy on the footwear front? Moderate, thank you. What's this? Search me, Mr. Chisholm. I'll search this first. Who knows? Might find a spare football boot or two. Do you mind? No, 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 carry on. Bleeding lunatic. That is the last time I do any sort of business with you at all. How does Arden know? Uh, what? Um, What's the matter? Um, Nothing. Trying to blow. Check. I'll see you later. Yeah, Terry. Look, he's on. Arden. Terry. 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 Terry